Migrants are quite common. I will say United States statistics, 30 to 40 million adult patients with migraines. So one in six or one in 10 American has a migraine um, one, one time or more than one time in their lifetime. So headache is just one of the symptoms of the syndrome. So migraine is a, then comes nausea, vomiting. Some people have very sensitive light, sound, uh, triggers, all the triggers we have, weather, especially cloudy weather. People have more headaches with it and it lasts. It's not one of those headaches that you took one Advil or something and got better. It's going to have a lot of, uh, even the headaches get better, they will have a lot of fatigue, lack of concentrations. They are drained at that point. So that part lasts longer than even a headache sometimes. It's very important for doctors, whether primary care or neurologists, to eliminate other causes of headaches or if a patient comes directly to see you. It's, it's very crucial that we are not dealing with anything else triggering the headache. So sometimes we do some investigations before we label them migraines. Each person's migraine can have little variations. There are different kinds of migraine, uh, including uh, that can present like stroke-like symptoms. So they can have uh, sensory symptoms or, or they can have some tingling numbness or weakness. So they can look just like a stroke, speech problem. And they, they usually come to the ER so we make sure that we eliminate other causes. Uh, so even types of migraine and the therapy we choose uh, also helps us if they have any cardiac issues, they are depressions, we choose different drug then. Uh, so it helps us there are other medical issues too.